You'll see right there gas is overflowing out of the carbs. So something is wrong with the float or float needle. I'm going to take apart the carbs and clean everything out. That's a lot of fuel. Alright, so to take out the carbs, I need to first remove the air boxes. There's only two bolts holding them on. Luckily, these airbox hoses are in good shape. I'll have to be careful to not rip or puncture this while removing it. I might go through a whole cleaning process to clean these airboxes out later on. But right now, they don't look too dirty. Now, this is the left airbox. This one looks good too. I bought a carb kit for this and I replaced the seals around it. But for these jet screws, I just pretty much cleaned them out and kept them on. This right here is the float needle. It looks to be working good too. I'm using carb cleaner and I pretty much sprayed everything with it. For the float bowls, I filled it up and had it sitting for about 10 minutes. Then I drenched everything including the floats and the insides. I used a wire brush to clean out the jet screws and then afterwards I cleaned everything up with water. And last I soaked everything in fuel to get all of the water out of it. This little water bottle thing I created is a genius, I know. And then the same thing for the float bowls, I needed to get all the water out. So I soaked that in uh, fuel as well. Another issue I had was this choke right here. This is choke on and off. This lever right here that pulls the choke on and off came loose. So one of the carbs always had the choke on. So that caused my idle to be really erratic. So I just put it back in place and tightened it up. Now I put the slides back in and I'm testing it to make sure the slide needle is pulling up and down correctly. Uh, and they're looking good here. The floats also doesn't look damaged. So now I'm putting everything back on again. I didn't do any carb sinking, but if this bike doesn't run too well, then maybe I'll look into that. Right here is another problem I had when I put the slides back in. I put them in the wrong way, and I think a lot of people have the same problem. So the cutout goes towards the air box, and this slit right in the middle faces the outside uh, towards me. Here, this side that has the long line, uh, that goes towards the back. So yeah, right here is the correct way that it goes in. You'll notice right here uh, the little bit of gap showing for air to go in. So this is the correct way uh, for it to go in.
Alright, so next time I'll show the idle adjustments I made and I'll cruise it around.